Hey guys, it's Max. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the brand new HomePod mini to the new Echoes, both the standard and the Dot, and the new Nest Audio. We're gonna talk about the different features, we're gonna listen to multiple different songs and different genres, and then I'll give you guys my opinions and which one you should ultimately buy for yourself and which one I'm gonna be sticking with. Starting out with prices, most of these are $99, other than the Echo Dot, which is 50 bucks. Now, right now, there are some sales going on, so I'll leave some links down in the video description. And I'm really interested between these two because they're much smaller than the other ones. Now, I do wanna mention build quality. The Nest Audio is built really nicely. It feels really premium, just like the HomePod Mini. Where's the Echoes? Right when you pull them out of the box, they feel really cheap. The plastic, the cloth, the cable is just not very nice compared to the other ones. And then as far as the power bricks, they are huge compared to the Nest and the HomePod. I don't know why it's gonna be so huge on your wall outlet if that matters to you. The Home HomePod is the only one that has a removable power brick that you can also use for your iPhone. And because of that, and because it's USB-C, you can actually use a power bank outside if you want to move this to the backyard where you have no outlet and you can still listen to it, which is nice. And then you can also use a different power adapter to charge multiple things, including the HomePod. As far as controls, the Echoes have physical buttons on the top, which makes it nice and easy to see and use. Whereas the HomePod has this little touch surface, but you do see the minus and plus and you can just press it to invoke uh, Siri. And the Nest is really frustrating as a touch surface. And even though I looked at the tutorial, it's still frustrating to use because you don't really see what you're touching. Now, the Nest also has this little switch. that's a hardware disconnect for your microphone. So if you want to have privacy, you can flip that, which is nice. And you can also turn off the mics using the button on the Echoes, but the HomePod, you don't have that option. And the last difference I'll cover before we get into sound is that the Echoes do have a three and a half millimeter output so if you want to connect it to a regular speaker or a receiver you could do that where you can't with these other two all right guys now let's get into our first sound comparison this is a song we often use and all of these are no copyright songs um, so go ahead and put on a pair of headphones if you have them and let's take a listen All right, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll give you guys my opinion. Let's start out with these two since they're the same size. And wow, you can't even compare them. The Echo Dot, it sounds defective when you put it against these, uh, these other two. The highs sound really bad. Uh, the mids sound really bad. They're not rich at all. And the bass is non-existent, whereas the HomePod sounds fantastic. Now, comparing the HomePod to these two larger speakers, we definitely have a difference in volume. These actually peaked at about 81 decibels compared to 78 decibels at about five feet away using my Apple Watch. Um, so the HomePod got 78 and the Echo Dot was at 76 decibels. So we have that difference in volume. Now, as far as the sound quality compared to the Echo and the Nest, well, the HomePod is somewhere right in the middle. The Nest has really clear vocals. The vocals sound great, but it lacks in bass. And then the Echo, the vocals aren't as clear, but it has really nice, rich, deep bass. You can actually feel it in the table, whereas with this one, you can't. You actually feel more bass from the HomePod Mini. Now let's take a listen to our next song. This is a rock track, and with rock, you have a lot of different sounds that are mixed together and vocals. So I'm curious to see how these will compare. Both the Nest and the regular Echo, they have a three inch woofer and then a dedicated tweeter compared to the Echo and the HomePod that just have a single speaker. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna sound. And for this test, I'm also gonna normalize the volume. So we're not gonna listen to the differences in loudness, just the differences in sound quality.
Wow, that test was really telling. First off, the Echo Dot sounds terrible. If you care about sound quality, please don't buy this speaker. Second, I was really shocked by how close the standard Echo was to the HomePod Mini in terms of sound quality. Now, the HomePod did have a little bit more bass, and the HomePod was a little bit clearer on the highs with the vocals there, and I liked that, but they were so close. And next, the Nest really sounded bad in this test, much worse than before. Four. Um, the electric guitar really stood out, the vocals really stood out, but the sound wasn't balanced. We were really missing the drums and the bass guitar there. It just didn't sound balanced at all. It did not sound great. Another difference I noticed is that all of these three speakers here, they are directional, and I have them pointed to the microphone so it's fair, but the HomePod has 360 audio, so it's actually pushing some of the audio back this way and all around, which is great if you have it centered in a room, or even if you have it in a corner, it can actually take the radiators in here uh, that aren't speakers, but they improve bass and bounce that against the wall and forward to you, which is nice. All right, now let's jump into our third test. This is a mix of classical with a little bass as well. So put on your headphones once again, and let's take a listen to all of these normalized, and I'm gonna leave out the echo dot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And with this track, I feel like the Nest sounded a little bit better. I still think it was a little bit too sharp in the high frequencies and lacked a little bit of bass, but the song isn't as difficult. And for these other two, they once again were so close. I feel like the HomePod was excellent in the mids and highs. Maybe it could use a little bit more bass, whereas the Echo could use a little bit more of the higher frequencies and the bass was maybe slightly too powerful, but still, they are very, very close. I am surprised, and I think both of these are great choices. So let's get into the verdict and which one I think you should buy and which one I'm going to be keeping and using. Now, one thing we didn't cover is the smart assistants. Um, they all have them. The HomePods is the least smart, I guess, and it's also the most locked down in terms of smart home devices they're gonna add. The Echo can, I think, do 60,000 devices now compared to 30,000 with uh, the Nest, and then the HomePod is somewhere in the 5,000 range. But the benefit is you have better privacy with the HomePod. All those devices have been authorized by Apple. It's a little bit easier to install. Um, so that's a benefit. Uh, but if you're just looking for the most compatibility, the Echo is definitely the way to go. Now, as far as sound quality and using it as a speaker, if you're just looking for background music, you don't wanna fill up a whole room with sound, you don't wanna be able to dance to it with loud music, the HomePod is excellent. It's the most balanced. I'm shocked by how good it sounds for a single driver. It is really nice. Now, along with that, if you want loud sound, you want a little bit more bass, this thing is a lot louder, it's gonna fill up your room and it costs the same amount. It's a lot more compatible and it has the output as well. So it's a more capable speaker. Now for me personally, I'm gonna be going with the Echo. I like to have much louder sound. You could stereo pair two of these and you'll get close to the sound of this Echo, but then you're spending twice as much money. So let me know your thoughts, which one would you buy down in the comment section below. Once again, we have links to all of these. Thank you guys for watching, this has been Max and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.